Rolling. All right, so today we're blasting steel. So steel, we can use as silicone carbide. It's actually the, the hardest of all the blast media that we have. Works great with steel. You wouldn't want to use it with aluminum or something soft. For that, you want to use this glass bead, which uh, works really well. It's not nearly as aggressive, but they're just like little glass beads, real fine glass beads. Yep. Do a great job on aluminum. Oh, yeah. Then we've got black oxide, which is, it's not as hard as this material we've got in here today, but they call it black beauty, too. Basically slag from, you see it. Yeah. yeah. But it's real coarse. Yep. And it's really hard. So, and we got a couple other different, you can use walnut shells, you can use a bunch of different meat if you use. So, you just want to use the right media to match whatever the hardness of the metal you're blasting. So we're using steel, so this will work well. Is something in there? Yeah, something's in oh. there, so. All we do is turn on the There it is. So it's in there, so the way you'll grab through here, you want to hold this kind of at an angle about that far, and you'll start to see the rust coming off. You just kind of move around like that. So always at an angle, you don't want to really shoot straight down at it. And if you start moving around, you'll be able to do this part. If you need to flip it over or something, then you just stop it and turn it over. There's a valve right here. That's off. That's on. Before you open this, I always like to push that down. Because if you happen to be like me and step on this, oh, you like on. right now nothing will happen. But if that was open, we'd be getting a face full of glass. All right. So the vacuum's all going through here. Should be relatively dust free. The gloves will protect you. I'll be able to hold it on the glove. Can you try it so I can see? Sure. So this is our foot panel here, right? I'm going to open the, open the thing. So it doesn't have to be perfectly, you know, for what we're doing with this car, we don't need for it to be all bright metal. It's okay if it's got some of these little pits in it. But yeah, that's how you do it. All right, let's put Peter on the job. So what, it won't matter if she's still on it. No, no, it's not gonna hurt it. No, it's not gonna hurt it. Are you a power greaser? Uh, when you get to the parts that are, um, yes. A little more rotten. This would be nice to have a little bit bigger box. I guess we need a bigger garage. Oh, darn. So it's that part up there that's rusted. It'll start falling apart eventually. So we'll probably do when we get to that is we'll, we'll pull this out and try to regulate it so it's not so important to deal with. Hey, are you want to hand me one of the window things? Sure. Oh, window crank. Window crank. Scalpel. Scalpel. <laughs> Makes it fit easier. Yeah. And then we can move it around like once, because you won't obviously be able to get all of that. But we go into the rest. Now they can use it for you to get to it. All right. Let's get Peter in there. Good. Are That's you fine. ready? That's hard to do a little bit. Yeah. So the valve is closed. So you open that with oh, that Get your glove, get your hand in the gloves, both of them. Now open the valve. You don't have to, but then open your valve back there. Pull it up to 12 o'clock. There you go. And now step on your pedal and you'll have juice. Look at that, Peter. Peter, 
How you doing? Not bad, actually. You, have, you having fun? Yeah. Look at that. We ever think Peter would be sandblasting? Yeah, thank you. Here we are. All the sandblasting. <laughs> <laughs>